Some of the children have never had a letter before. It's very exciting. Soon they'll write back to the children at the village school. The postman will make sure their letters travel quickly and safely. design and technology. And so are these, all three made with the aid of photography, graphics and computer graphics. And these are three of the most important ways of communicating ideas and designs. We're all familiar with cars, so let's take a closer look at how they come onto the market with the aid of graphics, photography and computer graphics. The 
smallest changes recommended by market researchers are examined and when judged to be improvements are incorporated into the new design. 67, coming in, coming in, there, all right. Customers walk into the showrooms knowing that every vehicle exhibited works well for the purposes for which it was designed. But people buy cars because they like the look of them. That's called emotional response. What it makes us feel about ourselves as much as what we feel about the car. That's why there are so many vehicles doing the same work, but all different in colour and shape. Different seat shapes, sizes and decorations, different gear levers, different dashboards and different headlamps. Every car company has a style of its own, and the new designs reflect that and include that with all the new ideas. these ideas have to be drawn and that means that every little nut and screw has to be drawn too. There are approximately 15,000 components or parts to the average car so that's an awful lot of drawing. The styling team passes the job of making the drawings to the design team. The design team calculate and draw the technical requirements. They work out the fuel consumption, the seating capacity, the load carrying capacity, the mechanical specifications, in fact, everything that is technical. Of course, each drawing is only in two dimensions, and each component which it is trying to represent is always in three dimensions. There's no such thing as a two-dimensional nut and bolt, or a bumper come to that, and it's very difficult to show the third dimension. To an untrained eye, it looks incredibly complicated. But just as we navigate from a road map to reach a destination, a professional car maker will read the drawing as a stage-by-stage -stage route to achieve the required component. Whenever there's a miscalculation or restyle, changes in every detail affected must be made on the drawing. That always used to be a time-consuming, wearying activity. New technology has now come into design and the craftsman can now look at every angle of a part. Watch closely. You have five seconds to decide which part of the car this is. can be done for every single component. Thousands instead of hundreds of coordinates. Complete accuracy, no guesswork. This is the really exciting bit. When a member of the design team responsible for that part on the screen decides that an alteration would make it better, or perhaps having seen it in three dimensions, decides that it hasn't turned out exactly as he intended, then the designer takes this and can make an alteration here or here. 
and within seconds can make changes that previously would have taken hours of redrawing an ordinary graphic. While manufacturing progresses, checks are made to find out if there are any possible flaws or problems. Photography is often thought to be just for special events like weddings or holiday snaps. We all love the blurred results of mum who moved when the picture was taken, or the picture of grandma with no head. Many parts are tested to destruction, and it is here that photography becomes important. When millions of lives are at risk, there's no room for mistakes. Photography is used with testing machines to provide information about little details, some so small that the naked eye can't see them. Just supposing this car is involved in a crash. Each test with dummies is carefully watched in slow motion to try and design safety in the car. With all the problems ironed out and lots of new models coming off the production line, it's almost time for the launch. So a photographic session is held and the photographs taken that will be needed for the publicity leaflets and for the brochures that we look at in the car showroom. Remember that we told you that photography, graphics and computer graphics all help to make the car and the leaflet and the repair manual. Industrial photographers have extra special skills and no two photographic sessions are the same. While the styling and design teams have been cracking on with their graphics, so have the editorial service. Editorial graphics, photographs and computer graphics combine to give sales leaflets, posters, newspapers and magazines all the ideas in words and pictures that have gone into making the car, all trying to persuade you, the customer, to buy it. There are other reasons for communicating design in graphic form. One good one is to tell everyone how to drive the car or how to repair it. The handbook must explain its designs and technology clearly, both in picture and in word form. Let me explain how and why carefully chosen words have to be used to describe the product to the people who will buy it. 
a lot of discussion and thought goes into putting the words together. Writers have to prepare all the material, and often it involves typing and retyping almost the same paragraphs with just occasional words changed or placed elsewhere. New technology has now come into many offices in the form of a word processor, which operates like an electric typewriter with a memory. The words are fed into the word processor in the way they are intended to appear. But if there's a change of mind, an alteration as you can see here, then a quick press of the key and a perfect paragraph. All the changes made at the touch of a button. we began. If you design something, you have to be able to tell people about it. You must communicate. The designer's job is to tell people about ideas, to tell them how to make something the size and shape that is wanted. Other people use design to tell the world how that idea works, what it looks like, and how to use it. This is done with pictures like this, words like this, and drawings like this. Computer graphics tell the experts what their designs look like, from the idea to the reality. That's the end result of craft, design and technology.